Hello everyone and welcome to another high low game of Age of Empires. Today we're dance dance dancing in the rain as Hera playing as the Blue Persians prepares to take on Mr. Yo playing as the Red Chinese. Now while the players heard their herdables explore their immediate surroundings and try to go up to feudal as fast as possible, let's take a look at the Civ matchup we'll be watching today. Now the Persians are an economic powerhouse with a tech tree that is incredibly strong and diverse. In addition to getting every single economic upgrade available in the game, I will repeat that, every single economic upgrade available in the game, they do start the game with 50 extra food and 50 extra wood. Their town centers and docks work progressively faster, all the way up to 20% faster in Imperial, and they can be a pain in the ass to raid because their town centers, take a look, come with double the HP, 4,800 compared to the usual 2,400. Now, using their economic advantages, the Persians do focus heavily on cavalry. Their nightline units come with extra attack against archers. They're the only civ in the game to have access to hussars, paladins, and heavy camel riders with each and every cavalry upgrade from the stables and the blacksmith, which, by the way, helps out enormously with their unique unit, which is, of course, one that needs no introduction, the War Elephant. This is an elephant unit that comes with a powerful attack, a huge number of hit points, and does trample damage, but is both super expensive and ridiculously slow, although it can be upgraded to move a little bit faster. Now, opposing our Persian juggernaut, we've got Mr. Yo as the Red Chinese, a well-rounded civ whose economic bonuses and strong tech tree mean the player basically has uh, a myriad of options on how to proceed during the game. To start with, all technologies researched by the Chinese get progressively cheaper starting in feudal, all the way up to 30% cheaper in Imperial. Their farms always seed with 10% more food. Their town center supports a population space of 10, not 5. And once you, hit, uh, once you start the game, you do hit the ground running with 3 extra villagers. Unfortunately, it does come at the cost of 200 food and 50 less wood. Now, help, now to help defend your economy against raids, Chinese town centers do come with extra line of sight giving you a lot more ample opportunity to garrison your villagers to prepare to defend them, and your walls and towers can be upgraded to get 30% more HP. Now, on the field of battle, the Chinese can field all top-of-the-line infantry, although without the supplies upgrade, you will be paying more for your champions if you decide to go that route. Now, their foot archers and skirmishers are also quite strong, especially if you mix in their unique unit, the Chukanu, a foot archer that fires multiple arrows and can be upgraded to get even more attack. Now, while their cavalry line is, in my opinion, nothing special, Chinese Siege can be a pain in the ass to deal with since their scorpions can be upgraded to get a massive plus for attack. So I am incredibly excited for this game. Not only are these two amazing players currently while I'm filming this video vying for the number one random map 1v1 spot. I believe Hera is holding it at the moment, but uh, a short while ago, Mr. Yo was actually holding the rank of number one. These are two very OG civs hearkening back to 1998 with two of the strongest economies in the game. So we'll see how the players decide to use it, which direction literally any unit and every unit is available to them. Uh, you know, I am, of course, uh, exaggerating a little bit. Not every single unit, <laughs> but uh, you guys know what I mean. Hera here losing his scout, uncharacteristic loss for Hera, but does manage to locate his opponent. Hera, though, one of the best early game scouters in the world. We'll see how he manages to handle the lack of vision in the early game. Mr. Yo, his scout still alive has seen Hera's base, but just the tip. Now he's taking a bit of a wider berth. Absolutely does not want to happen to his scout what he did to Hera's scout. Now all the players continue expanding, both of them going up to feudal. Mr. Yo on the back of one extra villager. So uh, what is he about? Uh, 18 seconds ahead of his opponent. Let's take a look at the bases, see if any players in a uh, particular advantage or disadvantage. Will he see the villagers? Oh, he does, and it's Mr. Yo. So of course he notices it, sees it, and just puts it away in the memory bank. Just, hey, by the way, for future reference, there is a lumber camp here. Hera, we're going to zoom out. Let's take a look at his base. Very open on all sides. Wood lines very far away from the base, except for this one to the north, a little bit of a shorter distance. But take a look. Where the hell is the nearest wood line? It's the one to the left, one to the south and southeast. Incredibly far. 
primary gold also in a very forward facing position but primary stone nice and safe so a basically an open base here for uh for Hera Mr. Yo <laughs> basically the same exact thing gold not forward facing a little bit off to the side stone backwards and a huge amount of open space on all sides although he does have a forest much much closer to his settlement to his town center than Hera does to his so advantage here to Mr. Yo having a wood line that's much closer having gold that's not forward facing but rather side facing although again it is a little bit off campus and he would do well to take control of this hill to make sure that this gold does not come under any kind of attack by the enemy for now though both players have hit feudal both players still at the same villager differential 21 to 20 although that becomes 22 right as Mr. Yo gets supply blocked he notices he's building a house to remedy it right away. What else is he building? A stable. And that's essentially it at the moment. Hero, what is he building? A stable as well. So he no doubt wants to start getting scouts out. Like I said, Hera very much used to early game scouting. Probably not too happy that he lost his uh, original scout here at Mr. Yo's base. Mr. Yo, though, take a look at this undeterred by the fact that it's a giant open space to the west of his base is walling it off in its entirety we'll see what he decides to do about this giant gaping hole into the northeast of his base this is a huge distance to wall off if he decides to do it for now though Hera is moving in we'll catch the villager we'll see if he's able to get any kind of uh damage on it no it gets shooed away by uh Mr. Yo's scout cavalry both of them swiping at each other the, at the exact same time the exact same unit literally Hera though here now has two scouts Mr. Yo three but take a look at Hera's spearman positioning one spearman to the right one spearman to the center this is going to be very hard for uh, Mr. Yo to engage into which is why he's now running away trying to do the only thing that scouts can do to spearmen, which is try to outrun them at the same time, the exact same drama playing out in Mr. Yo's base. So both players opening up with a very similar style. Military supplies are basically identical, except that Mr. Yo has one extra scout. And remember, I told you he's putting it in the memory bank. Let's see if he can get any damage done here. Nope. Decides to run away. Gets one villager. So a good amount of damage, but not great. That being said, Hera losing a scout early on. Hera losing a villager now. Two kills to zero. We'll see if it's three kills to zero. No, he decides to disengage, but does end up losing a scout. Oh, no. A loss here for Mr. Yo and Hera's first kill of the match. Let's take a look at the bases as the players disengage. What else is Mr. Yo building? Not much at the moment. Oh, goodness. Take a look at this. How much lumber? How much idle time from villagers? One villager, two villagers, three being pulled from a production line. So even though he's got a two villager lead, he really is one productive villager behind his opponent. Hera taking a more relaxed approach to walling off his base. Creates a little uh, palisade here. Not too sure this is the best location since the, uh, you know, you'll, you chop down two tiles of trees and all of a sudden you're open. Maybe it would have been better placing a house here. Or just a palisade over there. But uh, I am definitely not one to criticize Hera's gameplay. Absolutely not when your elo is 2720. When you've hit 2800, by the way, a few months ago. That was just absolutely an incredible accomplishment by him. For now, though, four scouts, two spears are taking on three scouts, one spear. Hera might be able to turn around and take this. These are full health scouts. Not sure why he's letting this one spearman escape. Yes, you'll get... You'll take damage on some of your units, but you will kill his Spearman, which is basically Mr. Yo's last line of defense. Once that Spearman dies, Hera is free to start trying to bust his way into the base, but look at Mr. Yo, carved himself a tiny little nook. Not exactly the biggest fan of, uh, of the small enclosed space, but he has secured his gold. Hera, on the other hand, take a look at his gold. No wonder he's going for the more uh, secondary pile of gold until he gets more accurate sense of which way the winds are, are shifting and flowing no point in uh, exposing your villagers to any harm here if you don't have to if you do have a closer secondary gold pile why the hell not use it 
this is the first time he's scouting this area yes it is he sees the palisade he sees the wall off so now he knows there's basically not much that he can do unless he comes back here and discovers it uh, <laughs> yet again let's take a look at resources i feel like both players are banking mr yo's basically at castle Hera a little bit behind in terms of gold Mr. Yo has clicked up, but we'll see how long of a time advantage. And now he's moving in. Does get another villager snipe. Mr. Yo's micro is just absolutely fantastic so far. Herod finally gets the gold. Does he have the secondary structure? Uh, he must. There it is. Sorry, the blacksmith. Okay, and now he's going up uh, 18 seconds behind his opponent. So the exact same gap that existed going up to feudal exists going up to castle not the end of the world with players like this 18 in game seconds is not exactly uh life altering momentum for either player mr yo retreating home to the safety of a spearman who pops out but now Hera has five light cab here with a good amount of hp decides now is the moment i want to engage looks like the spearman is down does lose two scouts for it but Okay, a fantastic trade here for Hera, who now takes the kill lead and is now moving out with two spearmen. So whatever Mr. Yo decides to push out here with is going to run into a little band of spearmen. I think he got bloodlines. I think they both got bloodlines at the moment. Mr. Yo introducing a few ranged upgrades. Starting to bank a good amount of resources are both players. And let's see, once they hit castle... And that is it. Mr. Yo no longer has an army. And this tiger, I rate aggressive, does not like his territory encroached upon attacking those spearmen, but paying the price 20 minutes in. Both players are in 3, 2, 1. There it is. Both players are now in castle. 39 villagers for our Chinese, 38 for our Persians. Zero military supply for Mr. Yo, although he doesn't care. He's walled off. He's getting Bodkin. He's getting Husbandry. He's getting Bosaw. And there they are. The Cav Archers coming out from our Chinese. Let's see what kind of damage they can get done. Hera with a second town center. Surprise it's not more uh, forward-facing trying to control this gold, although it looks like there's a bunch of hills here that might actually make it very hard to place a town center. I'm not too sure if he can. Maybe here? In any event, we'll see uh, if he decides or if he just uses a mining camp. Hera discovers the presence of these cav archers. Let's take a look at their upgrades. Plus two, plus one. Absolutely not terrible. Mr. Yo, knowing that his opponent doesn't have anything yet that can bust into his base, feels comfortable enough to get wheelbarrow. That research does take a... Uh, that technology, rather, takes a while to research. Elite skirmishers, padded armor for Hera. How many skirmishers does he have? Zero going up to four. <laughs> And now these cav archers are going to see how annoying they can possibly be. What's the HP on the house? 472. Okay, still tankier than a, a palisade. Mr. Yo really uh, committing here with six uh, cav archers into the middle of nowhere. Does decide to go after this palisade. Okay, there it is. Uh, so he, he de deletes his, uh, his structures and places at the at the bottom of the hill. Mr. Yo immediately sees this incredible amount of vision by Mr. Yo. And he's going to be annoying. Let's see what he can get done here. Pushed back by only three skirmishers. Interesting. I thought maybe with six uh, cav archers with those amazing upgrades, plus two, plus one, he would definitely have stayed. Especially since Hera... No, Hera's at a plus two, plus one as well. Now going up to plus two, plus two. Oh man, more and more cav archers coming out of that uh, Chinese... How many in total? 15 in total. An incredibly aggressive town center. Take a look at this. <laughs> Mr. Yo sending six villagers to claim this stone, despite the fact that he has a very secure stone pile to the back, taking a huge risk here with this very forward town center. But when you're putting on aggression to the east of your opponent's base, when you're starting to attack him in the center of his base... When you've got a scout to the left seeing anything and everything and a Hoang style siege workshop, you know that you're the one putting on the aggression. You know you're the one dictating the pace of the game. And so I guess he feels comfortable, safe enough to build this town center. Why the hell not? Until he sees Hera moving out with some kind of stronger force, absolutely no reason to keep pushing, especially when all you see is elite skirmishers, despite the fact that they are upgraded plus two, plus two better 
by the way, than your Cav Archers, those elite skirmishers are not, never going to do any kind of damage to this town center. So Mr. Yo, taking a, a big risk here, rolling the dice that Hera is not about to uh, exalt from his base with a body of knights or some kind of stronger unit. And the reason he feels comfortable is because take a look at his vision. I'm going to zoom out. This is Mr. Yo's vision. It looks a little bit like Swiss cheese right now, but essentially anything from the east of Hera's base will be spotted. Anything from the center of Hera's base will be spotted. And now with his outpost, anything from the west will be spotted. So Hera's been backed into a corner. Has a few scout cav out, but this is Hera's vision. Look at this. Have you ever seen Hera this uh, constrained when it comes to vision? It's absolutely impressive gameplay here out of Mr. Yo. And Hera, even though he has three town centers, and even though he's got a 13-14 villager lead, apparently does not yet feel confident enough to go out onto the map. These cav archers can engage these uh, these skirmishers very easily. Oh, <laughs> Hera laming his own Ibex. What's the expression? Uh, cut your nose to spite your face. That is an Ibex that he could have taken. Mr. Yo needs to get his butt over here with these Cav Archers, change the numbers, change the dynamics. These Knights are going to do a pretty damn good job of keeping the uh, Elite Skirmishers at bay. Hera has seen one, two, three, four, five Relics. We'll see if he makes any effort here to gather them. Manganel's continuing to shell away at this base, three of them. But Mr. Yo has to be careful. These are three very exposed... Uh, Manganel, if Hera's knights disappear from this part and all of a sudden reappear up here, it could spell trouble for these Manganels, especially when they enter town center fire for some bizarre reason. But look at Mr. Yo using individual units, not afraid to throw them away, realizing that they are, of course, expendable to see exactly where his opponent is located. Sees the knights all the way to the right, knows that there's no uh, trouble, immediate trouble. And now he pivots. Amazing Manganel shot here by Mr. Yo, but Hera's knight count is slowly, slowly starting to climb. Seven knights with one more in production. His gold count is impressive. He just needs a little bit more food. Hera has no wood whatsoever. Oh no, absolutely terrible here for him. And once this town center hits 20% HP, no more villagers inside as well, which is about 800 or so HP away from that. Remember... Persian town centers, my goodness, are they tanky. You thought the Byzantines could take a punch to the face, but, and the Persians. But now, our Chinese down in villager supply, 10 villagers, up 26 army supply, or rather up 6 army supply, 26 to 20. Hera continuing to circle with these uh, scouts, not too sure what he wants to accomplish. Four of his army supply is basically doing nothing at the moment. And seven of it is in elite skirmishers. Will Hera save this uh, town center? A villager underneath dies. Take a look at the villager kill count, by the way. Twelve villagers killed for Mr. Yo. Four mangonels shelling away at this town center within archer, uh, within range of this tower. Mr. Yo defending these mangonels with his life, with all of his cav archers. But again, Hera might have the villager lead. But how many villagers are there here? 16 and 5. 21 of them are doing nothing at the moment. Hera, though. Hera, though, with the side attack, gets one Manganel, gets a second Manganel. And now Mysterio has to disengage Hera. Fantastic job saving the town center using that incredibly high Persian HP. Absolutely wonderful. And now we've got our Chinese camels out. Oh, man, have I gotten into trouble. Oh, man. I've never... Uh... Oh, I've never gotten into so much trouble as when I said the Chinese cavalry line <laughs> is, in my opinion, nothing special until one awesome subscriber, uh, Edelweiss, reminded me that they do get cheaper technologies, which is something. But again, no no bonuses of any kind. We're not talking about a, uh, Berbers or Magyars or Franks. The saving grace, of course, for the Chinese... Uh, roster i think is this guy the camel rider especially the heavies they have been known to change the dynamics of many many a game 
And Amishiro just keeping an eye on his uh, opponent, Hera, finally able to use some of his villager advantage here, although Mr. Yo has basically caught up. Army supply also still 27 to 23 for Mr. Yo. Upgrades on these guys still not uh, great. Still missing the second armor upgrade. And now there's a random camel mix into the mix here. You don't belong. Why are you here? That's right. Go back to your camels. It's like when you see uh, on Instagram those photos of a bunch of teddy bears and then one dog, one adorable brown fluffy dog mixed in with the teddy bears. It says one of these does not belong here. Good placement for a town center. Nice and secure. Lots and lots of space to expand here. Hera taking the villager lead, but take a look at Mr. Yo. Take a look at the center position that he's established for himself. Zero relics for anybody, although a monastery now up for Mr. Yo. This proxy side uh, piece. Definitely, definitely going to fall. And again, continue to be impressed by Hera's ability to keep this town center very much alive. And now, using the gap in the uh, deforested plain of Arabia here, <laughs> Hera shoves in with two scouts, but this camel's going to absolutely be able to wreck them. Two more, one, uh, maybe three, depending on high ground, low ground. Oh, does manage to get a villager right before he dies. Mysterio has to relocate. There's no more lumber to jack in this part of the map. And all of his little infrastructure, three houses going down. Not that he needs them, he doesn't have the population space for them. But would do well to maybe replace them at some point. There we go, Chukanus are out. Absolutely love to see this unit. And Mr. Yo is heading up to Imperial. Take a look at the scores, he's about 800 points behind. Finally getting the second defense upgrade for his ranged units. Finally, Hera though, my goodness, how much gold is Hera banking? Are we going to see war elephants? Are we going to see paladins? I hope the answer to one of those is yes. So far, what we're seeing is Hera cleaning up an outpost here built by... Or rather, Mr. Yo cleaning up an outpost here built by Hera. Where the hell did this villager come from to build this outpost? Competing castles going up. Hera's will obviously go up first. Although a good number of villagers being sent forward here by Mr. Yo. Let's see if Hera can get any shots off on these cav archers. Yeah, just a little bit. Now Hera completely secured his base. To the east, town center and a uh, tower, a castle to the center, and a castle to the east. I, I should, I think I should said east instead of west here. Sorry, guys. Kind of looks like uh, Hera's castle can reach this castle, and it kind of looks like, oh, <laughs> man, whoever hits Imperial first when they get that last upgrade for their uh, range should be able to get that castle. Although I say that, but I don't think the Persians have the last, right? Yeah, no, they don't. They're missing vodka. Uh, they're missing uh, the last attack upgrade. Let's see what he can get done here with these knights, though. Bracer. Sorry, guys. I, I don't know why I said uh, Bodkin. As you know, if you watch my live stream, sometimes I do confuse the uh, the names of the upgrades, especially the Lithuanian ones. So, no standard of perfection here at Cast of Empires. We take a more relaxed approach to the game. <laughs> he says, having screwed up Bracer and Bodkin. Okay, this castle tried to go up in a more offensive position, ran into a bunch of cav archers and camels, decided to go more defensive. Mr. Yo using his uh, little bit of a time advantage to pump out his first trebuchet. Second one on the way, has enough resources for a third. Hera does not have enough resources for a third. He is building one here. Where's the second one? Okay, well, I'm not sure why he's building the second one here. Has he seen the center castle? Yeah, he has. But there's not a lot of units here to defend this treb. Army supply for Mr. Yo, 40 to 33, with the, by the way, better army supply, eight skirmishers making up a quarter of Hera's army. Uh -oh, the camels, the camels doing that annoying thing in Age of Empires where if your building comes under attack and you have units in its uh, immediate vicinity, they their, uh, their bloodlust takes over. 
their brain shuts down and they just start charging like this into anything and everything oh man uh, mr yoni to control his camels a little bit better harris castle does go down to the might of four chinese trebs saw upgrades chemistry iron casting for mr yo heavy camels and plate barding armor for mr uh for hera i was gonna say mr hera we'll see if at the end of the game we we call him mr hera attack upgrades absolute terrible for hera plus one plus two on these camels plus two plus three on mr yo's and he's getting blast furnace an incredibly long research 100 in-game seconds so when you hit imperial do make sure if you have the resources to start researching that as soon as possible it takes a long ass time Mr. Yo has stopped all Chukanu production. Happy to sit on the back of nine. He is supply capped at 200. Hera just a little bit away. Army supply is incredibly similar. But whereas Hera has some knights, Mr. Yo has some cav archers and Chukanus. Maybe Hera would do well to delete some of these elite skirmishers. Not too sure they serve any purpose right now anymore. Chukanus hunting down trebs. No, hunting down villagers, it seems like. And again, this is, I, I, I don't know if he's controlling it like this, or they, they're just immediately attacking anything that attacks them. Okay, Treb will take a little bit of damage, but not too much. Oh no, the second his castle goes up, Hera's gonna uh, unpack his Trebs. Yeah, this castle, and now we've got a big old battle, camel on camel, violence to the south. Where are the knights for Hera? Oh my god, they're per performing some kind of run by. Hera taking it to the north, Mr. Yo to the south. But looks like Mr. Yo is going to stand strong here. Oh, oh, five <laughs> elite skirmishers shelling away at these uh, heavy cav archers. But the castle does help. The castle does kill as many as units as it possibly can. Five kills for it so far. Six. Hera losing that battle, but retreats to the safety of his castle. Mr. Yo's camels. Dance around Hera's camels. Get a first trap. Should get the second and the third as well. Another trap going down to the north. Hera's going to lose three trebs so far. Is he going to lose a fourth? Certainly looks like it. Does lose four trebs. My god, that's 1,600 resources. At the same time, though, he has busted into the back of Mr. Yo's base. 14 kills so far on these knights. And now, the problem for Mr. Yo is he's got no army here. <laughs> How do you engage into what Hera has? Take a look. Hera is now going to return the favor and snipe the hell out of Mr. Yo's treb, splitting up his camels perfectly. Chukin who's doing what they can. But this is an absolute treb bloodbath. How many trebs have gone down? Eight? For some reason, Hera leaves this last one alone, ready to start killing villagers eight trebs have gone down that's 3200 resources lost by both of these players what is this blue dot here there is a knight randomly continuing to kill villagers here uh mr yo either not noticing or not caring another knight for Hera moves forward trying to get as much damage and distraction as he possibly can to take away the pressure from the front of his base Although now the villagers, how many? Mr. Yo has a good amount of stone also. Uh oh, and here come the raids at the 48 minute mark of the game. This area completely undefended except for a castle. What are the uh, upgrades on these? Six pierce armor means they are not going to be too scared of any kind of castle fire. Mr. Yo finally realizes after 12 kills here that these villagers are under attack. Heavy camel streaming south to defend. Neither player really willing or wanting to engage here in the center. Hera naturally with the advantage with the trebuchets. But again, this is what happens when you don't babysit your units. The second that castle comes under attack, they just charge back in. They become uh, berserkers. And now he's going to lose three camels for absolutely nothing. Hera yet again has busted into Mysterio's base, finding a juicy clump of villagers. Uh, not knights this time, but much quicker cavalry. Okay, so Mr. Yo is uh, happy to engage in a exchange of castles. His center castle for Hera's easternmost castle. I think he knows when this castle falls, this entire area 
is going to be free for raiding. And now the Chukanu count is at 22 upgrades full. Uh, missing one last armor upgrade and missing uh, rocketry. But in come the camels. Like have moved to body block. One trip goes down. Hera needs to focus the second. Second goes down as well. More and more annoyingness attempts here. Annoying attempts by Hera. But never count out the Chukanu's man. Are they a powerful unit? Especially when they're... Uh, especially when they're inside a castle. And now Hera has to run away. There's no point in investing any more of these resources, these units. These are heavy camels. These are not the uh, light cab that he's throwing away. That was an incredibly loud sound here by the castle. Hera, undeterred by the loss of his army, basically reset to 11. This is Hera's entire army at the moment. Undeterred is moving forward. Mr. Yo outnumbers him four to one in terms of military supply. Rocketry being researched as well. So these Chukanus are going to have a nice plus two attack added to their uh, arsenal. Mr. Yo sees this run by sends the camels to defend. Oh, sour loss here for Hera. Like I said, he just has no more army. He's got barely any food. He's got 700 gold. But what good is gold if you can't really spend it? And now the raiding is done. He knows he has to go home. Whatever precious few military units he has have to go home. The home front is under attack. Mr. Yo is going to keep raiding. 21 light cap, four more in the production. He is now at 10 times the army supply of his opponent. 40 supply ahead in total. Second, uh, another town center going down for Mr. Yo. Another town center going up for Hera. Not too sure this is the... Uh, the right move here but take a look at this not something we see every day commander and that basically turns these crossbows from our persian into trash units remember persians don't get arbalests so crossbows is basically as good as they get and what the commander and upgrade does is replaces the the gold part of the crossbow cost with wood so essentially you are now producing a wood only trash unit in the form of a crossbow which is why he can build 10 of them right away now it's Mr. Yo's turn to raid. Oh, I, I mean, I, that's unfortunate. I thought I was hoping we were going to get to see some uh, Persian crossbows take on these Chinese Chukanus. Take a look, by the way. Plus six attack with that rocketry upgrade. 14 attack. And are these elite? They are not elite. So they only fire three arrows. Elite fire five. But man, what an absolute fun game here out of both players. Mr. Yo dictating the pace. Hera trying the best he could to uh, bust out of the contain. Did so. Defended his town center valiantly. Look at it. Bruised and battered. Bullet holes and suit and dust. Dead bodies underneath. This is an absolute epic town center. Withstood four mangonels until Hera got that sneaky, sneaky mangonel of his own and took out a few of Mr. Yo's mangonels. But... This castle is going to fall. Army supply five times lower for Hera. Resource count, terrible for both players. But again, Hera could start producing uh, tr quote-unquote trash crossbows. Let's see uh, how many archery ranges. Six archery ranges is not bad. I guess five. This one's, this one's not being built. Is there even a villager here? Yeah. Where is the villager? Okay. They're behind. So six archery ranges is not bad, especially when you're going for a wood-only unit and you've got how many on wood. 51 villagers on wood. So Hera could have... Uh, I guess he could have continued in the game trying to throw crossbows. Unfortunately for him, they would have run into these uh, light cab and Mr. Yo with the exact same <laughs> villager count. But again, five times army supply. By the time Hera got up any kind of resistance, this castle is down. And now the entire eastern portion of Hera's base. How many villagers are we looking at? 34 potentially are exposed and there's just no way that Hera can hold this with crossbows crossbows again might be able to engage into Chukanus in, not on a one-on-one -on -one basis but good enough with numbers to, to whittle the Chukanu countdown but what do you do to stop the raids Hera knows that man let's take a look at the kill count almost identical wow 54 minute game kill count literally four units apart for the players this is how hard the battle was for both players this is not a route 
of any one player over another. Mr. Yo, though, did get a few more villager kills than Hera. Let's take a look. Hera with his usual 200 plus APM. Mr. Yo, a bit more relaxed game. 80 camels, 81 light cav. Economically, Mr. Yo, apparently, uh, unbeknownst to me, took three relics. Didn't see that on the map. Food count almost identical. Food, or rather, wood count almost identical. Food count about 3,000 different gold. Basically identical, although Hera did mine more. This does include the 1,200. And take a look at that. <laughs> Three stone difference here between the players. Absolute epic game here out of both players. Mr. Yo trying to dictate the pace of the game from the early start. Uh, after he took uh, out Hera's entire army early game, Hera did throw that one scout away in the early game. Not too sure that uh, there's any correlation between that and Mr. Yo winning the game. But you, number one, you never know. And number two, uh, it's never fun to lose a scout. So... You never know what kind of uh, psychological impact it might have on a player to do that, especially a player like Hera, who's not used to losing a scout and who I think, like I've said before, has the best early game scouting of any player of Age of Empires. So look at this. Cavs to the west, Cavs to the south, Cavs to the east, one Cav heading north. Literally all four corners of the map here to the left are being raided. The castle is going down. Hera is just absolutely surrounded and by the way, take a look at his vision, sees nothing, sees absolutely nothing except for the uh, one third of the map that he controls. Mr. Yo, on the other hand, my goodness, sees two thirds of the map. And so dictating the pace of the game, coming out with the higher army supply, taking the better fights. I wonder if uh, Hera's move when he moved the uh, rather shifted the knights south to do some economic raiding was the right move or whether he should have used those knights to engage into the battle that happened uh, where the hell was it? I think it was somewhere here in front of Mr. Yo's castle. Maybe he should have kept those knights around. That was an incredibly close fight. The knights could have changed the dynamic, and which could have changed the dynamic of the game, but we don't have a crystal ball. We don't have the ability. We are not Kang the Conqueror with an ability to go back in time or forward in time. We only have the game as is, and as is, Mr. Yo takes the big W, but GG to both players. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips and make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you're notified of my latest uploads.